Hey Bob, good morning. This is your Vibro Champ with some very pronounced 120 hertz buzz on the output. We're looking at some um, power amp issue. It is not dependent on the volume or any of the tone stack settings. And we can modulate it with the bias. So here's where we start. Talk to you soon. Bob, what's going on? I do have your Silver Face Vibro Champ opened up. And as you recall, me mentioning that hideous buzz, that 120 hertz buzz that I had demonstrated. And I'll, I'll tell you where part of it's coming from. Part of it. So uh, hopefully this is clear. I'm gonna to try to do this. I don't have much space in between to move about, but um, I can't go into great detail right now, but this is an ESR meter, and it's going to tell me if, essentially, if this capacitor can, has any sections that are leaking or becoming a resistor, in essence. And in a worst case scenario, it becomes a jumper in there, and you get a short. And um, this I'll only use because I, I really believe that there are three checks you should use to justify... Um, pulling out certain types of capacitors. Um, but I'm only going to do two because I have two definitive um, two definitive results here. And I think Meatloaf said two out of three ain't bad, and, but in this case it is. So, so take a look. Let's check the capacitance of, of this particular... Um, let's, let's look at these sections. Now, the section that's connected to this white lead here is the one... Uh, that's the worst. So let's check the capacitance of this guy here. And we're looking at the blue meter on the right. And what it's doing is it's charging the cap up with the internal battery. That's not looking too good. Let's try it again. Let's try this again. She's having some trouble. Sixty four, sixty three microfarads, which is about three times greater than it should be. Let's check this guy here. This guy here. Let's go, lady. It was fifty last time I looked. She's fifty six microfarads, about three times larger than she should be. Let's check this guy. Going over to the preamp plate supply. 36 microfarads, almost twice what it should be rated. So obviously, uh, this is a big deal. Your rectifier tube is a 5Y3, if I'm not mistaken. I gotta take a peek down there. Just offhand, I, know, I think it's a 5Y3, but I could be wrong. But in any case, um, that exceeds the, the max capacitance for that particular rectifier tube. Um, that's not good. It's basically the rectifier is going to look at that as a, as a short. So it's going to rip all kinds of current straight through that rectifier tube, causing flashover and destruction of your, of your rectifier tube. That's one thing. So let's put this aside. And let's focus on this ESR meter. I have one of the leads grounded. All right. So we want to see like... For a, a cap can rated with, with sections rated as they are, um, I'm expecting like one to two point something as a result. So let's start from the bottom. That doesn't look bad, right? And, and in most cases, if you saw a result like that and stopped there and didn't bother cross-checking with your meter, you might say, hey, that's good to go. But it's not. Let's check this again. Pardon the uh, mid-digit hair. Okay. That section is absolutely bad. They're all bad, but that one's especially bad. All right. So let's check this guy out. And again, that's a healthy rating. And if this was the only way you were testing, then you would probably pass these two sections 
and just say, hey, let me strap a, a cap over that. But that's not a good way to go. Um, the third way to test, uh, I will not show you um, because it's very hazardous. And, and as, as usual, if you're following along, you do so at your own risk, so be careful. And uh, the third way is where you charge it up to working voltage slowly and then see where it starts leaking. In most cases, that's an incredibly dangerous test to perform. Even for, for me, I don't like doing it. But there we go. So at first glance there, Bob, we're going to need, well, we're going to need to change out these cathode bypass caps. We're going to need to install three discrete capacitors. And I'll leave this uh, cap can there for aesthetics. But with respect to uh, the electronic assessment, um, your resistors actually look pretty good. Uh, none of your coupling caps are leaking at all, which is great. These are, uh, in, even the red ones um, from the, the latter part of the uh, Silverface era, they're good caps. Um, and that's, that's where we are. Um, I can assess the health of the tubes once I have the power amp stable, and then we'll just uh, update you then. Bye-bye. All right, and we've eliminated that 120 cycle buzz. This is the new filter cap array, which is gonna be, which has replaced that old cap can. This amp is much happier and much quieter. And then you can see this um, little black lead here running along the north side of this circuit board, this little guy right here. I use some old fashioned cloth covered wire to run the preamp ground. So the stage is feeding in the cathode end, which is where it should be grounded for additional hum rejection. Very quiet for a little single ended amp. Very happy. There's just a little bit of, I mean, a little bit of uh, buzz at idle. And it's so quiet and recessed into the background. Very happy. So um, what's left to change? Um, I'll go ahead and replace these little, these little guys here, these little cathode bypass caps. And then we should be good to go. And I'll run through that tube set for you. And we'll take it from there. Oh yeah, uh, forgot to mention, this is a, Listen to this. This is a 25 microfarad cap on this cathode bypass cap, and we're going to keep that there, even though a lot of people would think that it, it could potentially overwhelm overwhelm the speaker, a little speaker in here, but you do have uh, a more modern uh, reissue Jensen in there, so it can handle it. And if you find that the mid-range is a little too boxy sounding, or the amp is too boxy sounding, then we can reduce this. Since you don't have a dedicated mid-range control, you have this resistor strapped to the, to, the, um, to the base pod here, which is gonna perform that function. So we can touch base on that as well. So I hope this finds you well, bye-bye.